uh, which is to uh, land basically for the first stage after stage separation, uh, turn the stage around, relight the engines, boost back to the launch pad, and land propulsively on, on landing legs. And then uh, with the upper stage, after dropping off the satellite uh, or Dragon spacecraft, uh, then do a deorbit burn, uh, re-enter. You need a, a, quite a powerful heat shield. Um, steer uh, uh, aerodynamically back to the, the launch pad. You don't actually need wings, by the way. This is a common misperception to steer aer- aerodynamically. You just need a, some lift over drag number and lift, uh, lift vector. Um, and, uh, and, and steer back to the launch pad, then land propulsively with the, the upper stage, also with landing gear. Um, and uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll see if, if this works, but it's going to be certainly an exciting journey. Um, and uh, if, if it does work, it'll be, it'll be pretty huge. That's why I think a fully and rapidly reusable system is fundamentally required for life to become multiplanetary, for us to establish life on uh, on Mars. Mars is the only realistic uh, option for uh, another planet. Um, Venus being too hot, Mercury being way too hot, um, Jupiter being a gas giant, um, and uh, the, Jup- the moons of Jupiter are a possibility, but it's much further out and it's harder in a lot of different ways. Uh, and the moon is sort of too small and resource poor uh, to, have, to, have a, to, have a, to make life multi-planetary, emphasize, not, not just to have a little base. In the in the near term, the technology will be applied to launching satellites and to um, resupplying the space station, taking cargo and crew up there. Um, that, that's, that's the near term thing, and that's, that's what SpaceX's current business is pre- uh, predicated on.